Hi everyone, my name is Ken. Welcome to this house. Usually we tour historic homes, but this house really caught my eye and I just had to see what's inside. This house is currently listed for $2.6 million. It boasts over 8,000 square feet in five bedrooms. Let's go see what's inside. Now that we've seen the exterior of the home, let's go see what's inside. Come on. Walking inside of this house, my jaw is just dropping, guys. So check this out. We are now in the foyer. There are double sweeping staircases going symmetrically up to a balcony. And above that, if we really look up, we can see a coffered ceiling that has a dome cut out with a cupola puncturing it. And that was that tall bit that we saw over the front of the house whenever we were outside. So come on through here and we start to see these just beautiful details. So there is molding that sweeps around the staircase and that has all been rounded out. There's marble floors and then a really thick passageway, which is now going to bring us into the great room. Passing through here, we now come to an overhang and there's a balcony right above this that looks down into the space. So this is now the great room. If we look over here, this is the first thing that really catches our eye is this floor to ceiling fireplace. And this has that same marble that we saw on the floor in the foyer extending all the way to the ceiling. And then of course there are symmetrically placed windows that allow a lot of natural light to come in and we can really enjoy the views of the natural forest behind here. Coming out of the great room, we now pass through a segmented arch. As we enter into the space, the very first thing we notice is this wine fridge underneath this hutch and these beautiful marble countertops with the marble backsplash here as well. Now, cutting on through here, there is a dining area that is laid out. The entire family can obviously sit here. Beautiful chandeliers hung up above and directly in front of us here is the hearth room which is super cozy. It has this giant stone fireplace, stone ledge. It just, it feels very cozy in here, even though it's a very large open space. And throughout this house, let's keep an eye out because there is a surround sound speaker system that is built into the entire house. And we can see those kind of hiding up here on the ceiling. So follow me on through here, and we are now getting to the actual kitchen. A giant island with custom cabinets, beautiful high-end stainless steel appliances. The Sub-Zero has a glass panel, and we can actually see what's inside of the fridge. How fun is that? And over here at the range, there's this beautiful custom HUD that goes above this high-end range. And there's even a pasta sink right here, or a pot sink as it's sometimes called, so that you can fill up your pots while you're on the stove. You don't have to carry heavy things from the sink back and forth, super convenient. Now underneath this island here are some more appliances. There is a cooler down here for drinks, there's a microwave, and there's even an ice maker hidden away down here. So in this kitchen, we just find all these different luxury features and high-end appliances very tastefully blended into their surroundings. Now, moving on this way, there is a powder room over here, and this is just really gorgeous the way that they've done it. Um, both the fixtures and the brick wall on the back just give it kind of a more rustic and homey feel, kind of an homage to the styles that we've been seeing so far throughout this house. Now, passing on this way, there is a giant walk-in pantry, and this thing is so well organized. Um, it has pull-outs, it has drawers, and behind here is actually a little coffee bar and this is absolutely adorable. And you know what makes this even more perfect? Come on through here. There's even a workspace. So if you needed to just get some peace and quiet, have your coffee brewing, there's this perfect hiding spot where you can just sit down and get your work done without the distractions from the rest of the home. So let's go on back out here. And over on this side of the kitchen are these double French doors. And these lead out to a logia and a pool area 
we're not going to go check those out yet. We're going to see the rest of the house first. So let's head across the gallery over here and go start checking out the master bedroom. So the master bedroom is directly through the segmented archway. We're going to now cut across the foyer back to the stair hall. And we'll keep this all on camera because it's just too beautiful to cut out. So come on through here. And on the other side of this store is the laundry room. I'll show you the real estate photos of it, but we're not actually going to go in here right now today. So off of this hallway is the master suite. So let's take a moment to look around the space. There's some beautiful features to mention in this bedroom. The first is the wainscoting on the wall, how it's all matte black. And then there are glossy black double stack trim that runs along the ceiling here to really give it a really elegant look. And over on this side of the room, is a fireplace and this is encased in tile works. Off to the side of the fireplace is the entrance to the master bathroom and one of the first things that just stuns us is the size of the shower over here. So come here, let's just peek in here real fast. There's a beautiful mosaic that runs up the wall. There are penny tiles on the floor and it's just very, very elegant and there are a lot of different styles going on here but it all just blends so seamlessly together. Following me over here to this side, we now see a giant soaking tub centered on the window here. And there are these beautiful vanities as well as a built-in boudoir underneath this mirror here. Now that we've seen the entire first floor, let's go see what's upstairs. Arriving at the top of the steps, we now come to this gallery landing, which now overlooks the foyer. And if we flip around here, we can now see down into the great room, as well as beautiful views of the forest behind us. So let's start going this way. And this is going to take us through another segmental arch into kind of like a little gathering area. Let's walk this way first. They have this set up as a game room. Of course, this is a bedroom. There's a full-size closet over here. Coming out this way, we are now crossing into a Jack and Jill bathroom. There are two vanities set up, one on either side, both identical mirror image from each other. And over around this end, there is the actual bathroom that has the toilet and the bathtub. And I love Jack and Jill bathrooms. It really gives people a lot of privacy, especially siblings who have to share a space like this. So we can actually take this door on through to the nursery. So come on through here. And this space is just so adorable. There are windows on either side of this room to let in just a ton of natural light. And the furnishings in here are very simple and minimalistic, but very cute and elegant. So let's just take a moment to really look around this nursery. Follow me on this way and off to my side here is a giant walk-in closet and they have some personal things in there so we won't really peek in there but it is very large so come on through here and we're back in that little gathering area. Now we're going to walk back across the bridge here to the other wing of the house. So come on through here. Now there are two more bedrooms on this side of the house so let's walk on in here. This is very similar to the other side we just saw. There's another walk-in closet and over here is a large bedroom so let's just take a moment to look around the space. And passing out of this bedroom, we now come to another Jack and Jill bathroom. And just like we saw on the other side of the house, this is nearly identical. There are two sets of vanities, identical mirror image once again. And inside of this room here is the toilet and the bathroom. Now leaving this bathroom, we come to the final bedroom that's upstairs. And this is probably a guest room. It's very cute, very light area. I love the furniture and the lights in here. That was the entire second story. So now let's go see the beautiful backyard and swimming pool as well as the finished basement with an in-home theater. Let's go check it out. Stepping out into the Logia, we are now in the backyard. 
So there are some really amazing things to point out here. There's this giant sitting area. Up here on the ceiling are these wood planks with a lot of can lights. And this just gives that really rustic and elegant touch like we've seen throughout the rest of the house. Follow me on over this way. And I do want to point out these giant box columns that are wrapped in stone. And over here is something really special. So let's go down these stairs and I'm gonna show you guys the best part. Coming down these stone steps, we are now approaching the pool and we've just left the Logia. The first thing I want to point out before I show you all the pool is this built-in speaker system that they have on the outside of the house. So come on over here and follow me. Fenced in behind this wrought iron, we can see little details such as floor de lis and some frilling down here in the middle of these panels. And then this beautiful swimming pool with a lion's head fountain. That pool was absolutely amazing. Now let's go explore the finished basement. So we're going to enter through these French doors right here and really start to explore the rest of this house. Walking into this basement, it is just amazing in here. There is so much white and it is so light. There are these giant oversized marble-like tile on the floor, rustic chandeliers. Now, as we head into this space, there's another full kitchen. And of course this serves more as a bar. There is a floor to ceiling wine rack over here, which could hold, I don't even know, hundreds of bottles, honestly. And the tile work over here, reminiscent of the bathroom that we saw up in the kitchen. And it's beautiful how it accents the white shaker cabinets with the gold hardware, and then also the Navy Island down below. Now come on through here. I can show you that it has a dishwasher. It has another cooling fridge, an oven, and another microwave over here. Now let's keep exploring this basement because this place just goes on and on and on. So come on through here and we get to another large space. The staircase behind me will take you up to the great room, which was one of the first rooms we saw in this house. Now behind the sliding barn door, I am really excited to show you guys this in-home theater. So let's just take a look in here. There's some really fun details inside of this home theater. Obviously it has a giant screen. Above us here is a sparkling and twinkling ceiling. It almost looks like a nighttime sky with LED lights kind of surrounding above the mold that have been recessed. So those are just those details that really help to pull a space together and just give it so much character. Now over here is another bar. Of course, the owners have it set up with a popcorn machine and candy and some drinks for the adults here. And it's just, it feels really homey. I've seen a lot of theaters in my life and I love whenever they're set up like living rooms like this. It doesn't feel sterile. It feels like it's lived in. It feels like it's meant to be enjoyed. And it just feels like you can really relax and watch a wonderful movie with the family here. So let's go back out here and there are a few more spaces to explore in this basement. Okay, so now leaving the in-home theater, we're now going to travel this way, and this is going to bring us to the in-home gym. Now we're on the active side of the basement. So first off of this little vestibule area is a full bathroom. It has these gorgeous hexagon tiles, a full bath and shower, single vanity, and a round mirror. Passing out of this hallway, we are now in the in-home gym. So let's just take a moment to look around the space. She is coming. Thank you everybody for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this tour. I want to give a huge shout out to the owner of this house, Jen, for allowing us to film here and to her lovely, lovely dog, Millie, for just keeping us company while we do this. I'll see you next time on This House.